CAR T cells um, is the prototype of development that started in academia and, uh, of course, could only become successful because pharmaceutical picked it up and made it into uh, GMP grade products um, and uh, implemented the infrastructure needed to get broader access um, to, uh, for all patients. However, there are many different challenges during this process. On the one hand, on the type of innovation, because innovation is manifold, and uh, once uh, such uh, a drug enters um, uh, late phase uh, clinical testing, usually companies get only interested in one compound. On the other hand, um, uh, uh, also the ownership of these drugs, as we have seen with a couple of CAR T's entering the market, uh, entered um, uh, into different entities over time. So meaning from our perspective, for example, if we discuss um, uh, CAR T uh, registry data, um, we repetitively need uh, to discuss with different owners, um, again, the very same topic. And therefore, I think it is very important to have an EBMT registry, which sort of creates a neutral ecosystem to collect all these different data um, to create uh, a, a standard uh, for these new type of therapies. But I think it's very exciting, it's challenging for all of us, also for us, um, uh, but also of course the pharmaceutical partners and uh, we created a go T community to better understand each other because of course we are coming from complete different angles um, and uh, on the one hand academia needs to understand sometimes the rather rigid thinking of pharmaceutical companies, on the other hand, pharmaceutical companies need to understand the crazy and amazing brains from uh, researchers to bring this to the clinic.